everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Aero Eve air purifier. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the very generic retail box and packaging. Just a little bit of product information on this side. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up we have our user guide and manual walking you through everything you need to know about your new air purifier. This does come with a one year warranty and they have their customer service and contact information right there. If you need to reach out via email, you can do that. Next up, this is the air purifier, small and compact, gonna be nice for a desk things along those lines, a little bit more portable than your typical larger air purifier. Looking at it from the top, we have our control panel here. We also have some built-in diffusion. If you wanna drop in a couple of essential oils, you could do that right there on the unit. Here it is from the side. We'll just rotate it all the way around. The back side has your integrated power cord and cable. The front is nondescript. Looking at it from the very bottom, we have four feet here, lock and unlock to reveal the filter which is in plastic that we need to remove. And here's your look at the filter with the plastic removed. Take a look at it from all different sides and angles. And here's a peek inside of the air purifier with the filter not installed. Doesn't matter which side, we can just drop it right back in place. And then we can line up our lock and unlock again to have everything nice and snug. So then we can turn it over and start using our air purifier. Now let's go ahead, let's finish getting this set up. Now we have the air purifier plugged in and ready to go. Simple touch control panel here. So the first one's gonna be power on, and then we can cycle between different fan speed settings. So basically we have our sleep quiet mode, then we have one and two. Next we have our light adjustments there. So we can toggle that light on or off. And then lastly, we have our six, 12 or 24 hour timer. And don't forget up here, if you wanna drop in some essential oils, you can do that as well. Really quick, let's cut the lights to see how bright that light is. So with the lights off, it'll be hard to see with the cameras here in the studio because it's a very faint light, but it has a nice glow, perfect for a night light. You have your blue light up at the top, then we can hit it again. It turns on a purple light down below on both sides. And then we can hit it again and both of the lights turn on and then one last time and everything turns off. Now it's time to see how this performs. First up, we'll be checking how loud it is in each of the different fan speed settings. So first up, we have sleep right here. Let's see how loud it is. First, we peaked at 33 decibels for the sleep setting. Now let's see about fan speed setting one. Fan speed setting one peaked at 48.1 decibels. For fan speed setting two, our maximum setting, we peaked at 68.1 decibels. Now we're gonna check out the airflow coming out of the top of the unit. We'll be measuring this in FPM, starting with our sleep mode. First up, we peaked at 39.3 FPM. Now let's do fan speed setting one. Speed setting one yielded 216.5 FPM. And now time for speed setting two. Speed setting two yielded 433.1 FPM. And for the grand finale, we'll be doing the smoke test here where I inject smoke into the air intake to get a feel for how much smoke is leaking through the filter. Just trying to give you a visual indicator of the performance of the filtration of this particular air purifier. So let's go ahead, let's let it rip. And some of that you're seeing through there, it is, okay, it is coming through but it is still trapping some, cause look at all the smoke here. I mean, that's how much smoke is coming out of one click right there. So with that being said, it's not gonna trap everything. Honestly, it's about what I would expect for an air purifier like this. It really comes down to you get what you pay for. It's gonna trap some, but as you see, it's not gonna trap everything like those higher end air purifiers will. So again, smaller spaces, your desk, your cubicle, things along those lines, your nightstand, that's where an air purifier like this is really gonna excel. So let me share with you my final thoughts. This is a very capable air purifier for what it is. Its weakest point, ironically, is gonna be air purification with the filter that we have. But for a lot of you out there, it's better than nothing and good enough for your usage scenarios. This really gives you a lot of flexibility with the sleep mode and multiple fan speed adjustments, six, 12 and 24 hour timer and two, lights and LED light and what they 
call the moonlight, giving you multiple use cases, scenarios, depending on if you want a nightlight or things like that. So for what it is, you definitely get what you pay for. But in this case, there's still some good value here with all the extra features that we get. And I didn't even mention that we have the ability to use this as a diffuser as well. If you're into essential oils, you'll be happy with something like this.